morning. <laughs> it's news at ten. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing very well. I hope you're looking forward to Christmas. I hope you're kind of you're, you're sort of winding down. I know I am. Ah, uh, you are. Um, Had to drag you in here. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the biggest transfer stories that are going on. Let us know your thoughts or the rumours that you've seen. We can have a chat about those as well if you're watching this live in the comments. We've also got a little poll today. You love polls. I do. I bloody love a poll. And here's a new one for you to enjoy and click on. Uh, click that eye in the corner and you can decide or give your two pennies worth on where you think David Luiz should be come February. Should he be at Arsenal, Chelsea or Newcastle? We will tell you more about that story in just a second. But quickly, let's go through the back pages that you uh, find in front of you if you're reading a newspaper today on the 20th of December. Man City on the back page of a, a few of the, the newspapers, the Times in particular, um, after their, their win yesterday uh, on penalties. Claudio Bravo, the hero, odd. I never thought I'd say that sentence, but I have. He, uh, he was the man for them as they beat uh, Leicester City on penalties. One all in the, going into extra time, which, if I was a Leicester City fan, I'd be absolutely buzzing about that. <laughs> like, no one can stop Man City at the moment, and they were able to do that. So yeah, that's but, a great thing. But then they lost the penalties. But then they did lose on penalties. Vardy, so the buzz would have been very limited. limited yeah, buzz. a mini buzz. Of course, yeah, no, no doubt, <laughs> Sam. I, I agree. It is a mini buzz, but a buzz nonetheless. Uh, and the, the sort of talking point after that was. Can they do the quadruple? No. It's like, and Guardiola, he was like, no, I'm so, so happy. I'm so happy. But no, we can't. it's not real. It's not real. Is that racist? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that, was, um, that was a strong Guardiola. <laughs> I went for it. Um, but you shouldn't, you shouldn't is that outrageous that he's saying that? Nothing. Look, they have, they've got the best squad. They're clearly better than everyone else. I think we've all, we all understand that now. They're going to win the Premier League, which is going to allow them to maybe rest a few players along the way. So... I think they should. Isn't it, isn't it okay for him to go? Why not? Let's, we're going to play every game we want yeah, no, and try and win it. There's different ways uh, a certain, uh, that managers look at competitions like that in terms of how they show their confidence. Some will say, "Yeah, yeah, we can win it." Some will say, "No, nah, it's impossible. It's impossible." And then he's just he's coming around, just just he's trying, trying to keep trying the pressure off, trying to get the pressure off it by not saying it, but Maybe. not really working. But they are now in the semi-finals of the League Cup, and of course they're in all the other competitions as well, and doing very well in them. So I think there is that opportunity there. Let us know what you think. Do you think the Man City could win all four? How many trophies will they win this season? Let us know in the comments. Uh, another team that is in the semi-finals is Arsenal. Arsenal sort of dealt with West Ham quite well, I thought, last night. Got the 1-0 victory. Um, I think it was, quite, it was quite a poor game, really, but there's a few youngsters. Uh, I think it's Willock, uh, played centre midfield, uh, looked quite decent. Uh, Welbeck scoring a goal, which is great to see. The bad news is uh, Giroud has got a hamstring injury, which means he's probably going to miss the Liverpool game. Well, he is going to miss yeah. the Liverpool game on Friday. But he gets Christmas off. But he does get Christmas off. Maybe it's, yeah, I wonder if, hang on a minute. Maybe that's... Mm. Mm. I do, do you know what's funny as well? So Marcus Rojo didn't return to action for United until 19 days ago. And he's already one yellow card away from a suspension. Really? Uh, basically getting Christmas off. He's the Neil Ruddock of, the, of <laughs> Premier League <laughs> nowadays, isn't he? Card. Crazy. So those are the back pages. It's all about the, the Carabao Cup and the teams that have gone through. Uh, United tonight, isn't it? Bristol yeah, City. Bristol City. Uh, of course, you'll be hoping to win that one. Um, you've, got go, you've got to be getting past them, and then it's Arsenal, City, United in the semis. Yeah. I'm not sure they're through the four team. Chelsea or Bournemouth. So That's it could it. be some tasty, tasty semi finals. The League Cup semi finals are two legs, aren't they, as well? Yes. Which will, yeah, which will be interesting, mm. which will be good. I don't want to play City to us. No, yeah, who do you want? Who do you want in the draw if you make it through? Uh, Arsenal. Arsenal, fair enough. OK, right, uh, let's talk about David Luiz uh, and this. We spoke about this a little bit yesterday, yeah. that he, was, uh, he could be going to Arsenal in a £30 million move, but now it looks like Newcastle... They, Swooping. They, they're hijacking. Oh, hijacking. It's happening. Uh, I was reading an article which I thought was... It's, it's what's, what's quite important for a manager, for a team that's not the top six is having those links to be able to get some players that you need maybe in January. For Rafa Benitez at the moment he's not got much money to spend. Mike Ashley's not going to give him any more money until the, the takeover is completely done and dusted. So what's crucial for him I think in terms of keeping Newcastle up and, and adding some quality to that squad could be some loans for players from Chelsea, from Liverpool, maybe even from, from Real Madrid. That call you in can some kind favors. of call in some favors, yeah. Do it, do it the Harry Redknapp hey, way. Come on. I think there's something in that. So, and for Chelsea, they've obviously had the problem of uh, letting Matic go to a rival. You've seen how that strengthened them. And David Luiz has had. He's only started one game in the last ten. 
since the supposed argument with uh, with Conte, and so it might be mm. a smart move for him as well because he wants to be in the Brazil team for the World Cup. Do you think is that a disastrous move for him to go to Newcastle? I, I feel like on his, loan. I feel like his position in Brazil squad is uh, pretty much certainty. Uh, when he wears someone like maybe. I suppose Phil Coutinho's as well, but someone like Sturridge is trying to get into that England squad. He's got to force his way in. Lewis, I don't think, has that much pressure on him. But he's only, as you said, only played one in the last ten games. And he's a top draw player. He's not like a fringe player at all. He wants to be playing regular football. Would that be good in a relegation scrap in Newcastle? I mean, it's a, it's a bit of a switch for David Luiz to go from London to Newcastle and then join a relegation scrap, going from champions to... Yeah, true, very but, true. You know, Benitez himself moved from Real Madrid to Newcastle and then... So he did that as a manager. Maybe he can call that would be a serious favour. He call in on Luis. I think he'd rather go Arsenal. But let's be honest: is there any way that Chelsea are going to sell Luis to Arsenal? So let, let us know. yeah, let's let's know the, the polls there. Where do you think he will be at the end of February? All being said, that, and the argument that supposedly that that had happened. He's good mates with Benitez as well. Um, do you think he'll end up at Arsenal on loan? Newcastle on loan? Arsenal full time or stay at Chelsea. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. Uh, Jinkia Maldika, I love Louise to bits. Um, he has done enough in the game to play regularly. I don't think he is capable of displacing the brilliant Christensen. I have heard him linked to uh, Juve, and he deserves that move. I think that uh, I think moving abroad would be the the smart thing when you've got someone like Christensen on hand to be playing these games. But I think. Every team, certainly the teams that are, g are going to be trying to win FA Cups, win the Champions League and get into the top four, you need some depth. And if you lose him, then, you, then you're losing that. That's a bit like Chelsea up, up front at the moment don't have that depth at all and they're really struggling with what, one striker? Yeah, yeah. Um, a few more comments here. Talking about Man City earlier, um, Christopher Doving, Man City will probably win two trophies, FA Cup and the Premier League. Too much for them with the Champions League and League Cup to win all four, he's saying. Um, a lot of people um, concerned about my um, impression earlier on as well. Uh, David Luiz, Mike Tyson says, was spotted in Sports Direct. So the deal clearly is done. done deal, he's right? on done his deal. way to Newcastle. City Fisher saying that's mad for Newcastle to be linked with him. Mo Mohamed, Luiz is fourth choice centre back. Centre back for TT in Brazil, right? With Silva, uh, Marquinhos, and Miranda in front of him. Ah, okay. Uh, Ainkia saying again, if Newcastle get David Luiz, then Bournemouth can get Gareth Bale. Stop taking the piss, guys. <laughs> no, it's in the Express. It's in the Express. Everyone's talking about it today, so we are as yeah, well. Come on, it's news uh, at ten, right? It is. It is news at ten. That's the thing with these transfers. Some are going to be right. Some are going to be bullshit. You're going to have to let us know what you think. For me, I can, I can see, I can understand it. There's a few components there that make sense. Benitez, knowing David Luiz, uh, I think they they worked well uh, before at Chelsea, 2012, 2013, when he was there as a manager. So there's a possibility there, but yeah. I'll be surprised. I mean, I suppose there's a possibility in the same way that. Um Benitez also managed uh, Ryan Babel previously, so, so he was heavily linked with the. Of course, yeah, Newcastle. of course. And, and I think that move could, you know, I mean, pick that, up that again. That is still on, actually. That is still on. Uh, another uh, <coughs> transfer that's kind of been rumbling on for a mm. while uh, is, well, it's just Antoine Griezmann to anyone, isn't it? Yeah. I know Man United have been linked with him, but apparently Atletico Madrid have reported Barcelona to FIFA over their approach to, to Griezmann. I mean, Barcelona, obviously, they had their transfer ban, I think, came in uh, the same way that Atletico Madrid had their transfer ban last year. It's to do with signing under-17 players from international players and the rules in there. But... Barcelona, I'm sure, have been reported for something like this before. And it seems like a very... You know, it's a, this is a little bit of a confusing situation. Tapping up used to be really clean cut. It's like, if you spoke to anybody to do with the player you want to sign, you're tapping him up. It's illegal. You can't do that. But it doesn't seem to be the, it doesn't seem to be the case anymore. It seems like a grey area that you can maybe speak to the agent before you go towards the club and you can have a conversation there. And it's not illegal. But apparently, um, Jose, is it, what's his name? Jose Maria Bartomeu. Is a, uh, Barcelona's president has apparently spoken to Griezmann's family directly. Yes, well, and uh, I think it's his entourage as well. It's a good point that you say. Like, I think back in the day, we have uh, Jim, uh, who was an, a football agent, he works in our office, and he was saying that it, you know, tapping up has always happened. Mm. It's, it's uh, naive to think that clubs aren't talking to each other constantly. But I think what you're seeing with, with these kind of reports in, in, in terms of trying to stop it is the fact that they're trying to make 
a contract actually have some substance yeah. to it now. He signed a new contract in the summer that lasted 2021. So I think they thought for at least at least a season, they've got a, a clause that's 100 million euros, which, I mean, I think some, some teams would probably be willing to pay that amount of money, but they want that contract to actually mean something. So when they're constantly getting bombarded, I it's going to affect the player, and that's what they don't want. I mean, I think this is mainly because it's Barcelona, because United, we would have signed Griezmann last summer had... Atletico Madrid not had their transfer ban. After that, Griezmann then said, look, morally, I can't leave Atletico Madrid in this situation where they've got 100 million and can't sign a replacement for me. Signed a new deal, the release clause stayed the exact same. So that didn't increase. So, but um, I think he will leave Atletico Madrid, but as I said, United have been linked with him now for about 18 months and we haven't been reported once. The Barcelona room started about three weeks ago and they've been reported straight away. Right. So they're doing something differently, or it's just the fact that it's Barcelona and Atletico Madrid do not want to sell to a rival. OK. Um, let's have a look at some of your comments. Uh, Mo Mohamed, Barca have been blatantly shady for this past year. Coutinho, Dembele, Griezmann, uh, just to name a few. Iconic player, um, talking about David Luiz, he's a Chelsea fan, I think. Uh, he would never go to Newcastle. It's a shit news story. Just there for clickbait. Okay. Well, uh, now we know. That's a, this is what uh, this is a conversation. This is the whole point. We talk about it. You can let us know if it's absolute nuts. Uh, uh, nuts. Um, Anthony Barrett, QPR sniffing around for David Luiz. Is that clickbait? I don't know. I think we take him. To be honest. Apparently, was spotted on a night out with Ian Holloway. I'm not sure what happened or where it finished, but you it, know, it it is, here first. It is Christmas. Um, and finally, let's see uh, see what you thought with the poll with David Luiz. Where is he going to end up? I'm going to refresh and find out. It's got to be Chelsea, right? Has it? With 53% oh. of the uh, votes. Chelsea, uh, that's where David Luiz is going to end up in February. He's going to be at Chelsea. Arsenal, 17%. Newcastle, 29%. So that's interesting. Uh, no one thinks that Chelsea will sell him to Arsenal, even on loan. I, I, I'd be very surprised if they sold him to a rival, but Chelsea, I don't know. Chelsea have got... A, a, with that Nemanja Matic thing, I can't get that out of my head of how bad a move that was for Chelsea. And that didn't come from Conte. He wanted to keep him, but... It seems like Abramovich and the, the powers that be wanted back at Yoko. Um, mm. And I, I think they got a bad deal out of it. But Matic, he's stagnated there. Has Luis stagnated or is it just the fact that he's fallen he's out? fallen out, yeah. It seems there's anything wrong with him. Yeah. Just that they just got to stop being bitches. And just <laughs> <laughs> Guys, stop being bitches. It's Christmas. Come on, say, get on with it. Spirit. Right, let us know your thoughts on David Luiz, on the Antoine Griezmann story and any other transfer rumours. Let us know in the comments below. Hit the like button. We'll give you five seconds to do that. Thank you. Hit subscribe. Subscribe to Bull Street. You know it makes sense. We'll see you again tomorrow. Goodbye.